Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tish here. And as promised, we are looking at the front of the house with this side as well. So if you watch my backyard um, patio makeover, then you will know that I have started a pathway and we're gonna continue that pathway towards the front of the house, plus a cute another project that I'm doing with some wood that I'm gonna build there. Did get a new garage door, so that's already done. And then here is the other side of the front of the house. So I got a ton of mulch because I'm going to be creating some new um, flower beds as well as just refreshing the mulch. I do that every year just so that it's nice and fresh. Um, so like this flower bed needs to just be spruced up. And then like I said, we're gonna add a new one over here as well. Switch out that gutter and then um, just get this front porch to look nice and new that rug needs to go the flower well the flake the fake plants and then I will finally get to finish the wreath that you guys have been seeing for quite some time now I'm gonna pressure wash the walkway and then get some of these new plants into the ground The front of my house doesn't get too much light, so I want to make sure that I got plants that will work in almost a full shaded area. So I got some azaleas and some hydrangea as well as some hostas um, to go up in the front because those are plants that you typically don't need to touch once you plant them and they like to be in a shady area. So hopefully it will all work out. My trees tend to soak up all of the water that goes into that area, so hopefully these plants will be able to survive. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish off this side. As you can see, I've already added some of the paving stones and mulch to the side after I pressure wash that. Um, and that wood, again, is from the garden bed that was in the backyard before I did my backyard makeover. So I'm just waiting for Mike to figure out what wood he wants to keep so that I can get rid of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the mulch here and then get to my fun DIY project. If you haven't watched my patio makeover, then you need to go ahead and watch that right now. So click pause and then head back over to my channel and watch that video because I built a privacy screen and wanted to do the same thing for my garbage. So I'm not gonna call it a privacy screen, but I guess it kind of still is. But I've just been calling it my garbage wall. Um, just to hide my two big garbage bins, I've seen this all over Pinterest and absolutely loved it and wanted to go ahead and create it myself especially after I did my privacy screen in the backyard and I love the way that it turned out super quick easy to do and very inexpensive so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the door black and I love the shade of blue that it was but I just really wanted something that would be neutral that way I could change out my entry rugs as often as I want and be vibrant with colors even with some of the plants like I picked the pink um, hydrangea and the pink azalea. That so I just wanted to make sure that I had like a neutral background. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these plants in. Y'all, I live in North Carolina, so we have the red clay as you can see in those buckets. So it was super hard trying to dig the holes to plant these. So this did take me two days to get all the plants in. I put in two new plants in that front bed right by the window and then I also did these four. Um, ran out of dirt which was a great blessing so I called it quits and ordered some more dirt and went the next day to get the rest and then um, planted the rest of the plants. So now that everything's planted, everything's mulched, all the edging is up, I'm going to go ahead and now clean my porch as well as the walkway. I'll do the driveway later on. I knew that I didn't need it for this video, so I'll go ahead and tackle that at another time. I wanted to make sure I got this video done and up for you guys today. You can see that it gets really mossy over in this area, so that's why I put the edging up. That way that it doesn't transfer over to my walkway now. 
Um, but I really did clean this last year, y'all. So it looks like I haven't cleaned it in years, but I just cleaned it last year. So with the new painted door, I wanted to add this kick plate on there. Um, and I love the, the way that it just adds that extra glam to the door. Finally finished the wreath that you guys have seen in some of my other videos since the winter time is finally done and outside where it should be and I added the buffalo plaid ribbon to go with the rug and I know spring is almost over y'all but this video was supposed to be done back in I think April here we are now in June so once it is officially summer I will switch back over to that home sweet home rug but for these next few days, I'm going to enjoy it because I love that rug. I thought it was super cute and it was another inspo for me to go ahead and paint the door black. So I'm going to go ahead and add the little finishing touches to my garage door. Um, I thought this was super cute and they're really just magnets. I found them on Amazon and I will link everything that I can still link for you guys. Just make sure that you're following me on the Like to Know It app, also known as Reward Style. And that link is below in the description box. And that is where I link all the products that I post on here as well as on my Instagram and blog. So I went ahead and added the black paint to my mailbox because the brick that's on my house is discontinued and I wanted it to match um, and put some mulch around the mailbox as well. Here you can see me walking down the driveway to give you a look at the new flower bed that I um, created. Still not sure about the shape, but for now this is what it's going to be um, at least until I move. I don't know. But this is what it looks like and I just think it looks really great and cute. Don't get much grass up here because again, no sun and the trees just suck up all of the water. So I just wanted to eliminate as much grass as I could. And then here is the old flower bed that I had touched up with some extra mulch. And you can see our leaves are already starting to fall. We get like two falls pretty much here of leaves because they grow so early. And here is a look at the the walkway as well as the front door from this view. I really love all the touches of black with the mulch, the shutters, the door, the roof. I just think it gives it a nice clean crisp look and again neutral background. And here is a look from this angle and this is me standing in front of the um, garage door. So you can see what that flower bed looks like from that angle. And here is one more look at the new garage door as well as my garbage wall. Um, and I just think it looks so cute. I am going to be adding my house numbers. I did not want to do that um, in the video, but I will be adding them right there where I'm pointing um, just to add that finish touch and they are a black matte finish. So here is that walkway that I extended towards the driveway. Here is a look at the wall that took me some time to clean. I still need to finish the top portion. I didn't want to do that by myself because of the hill. So I just want to make sure I have someone there to do that with the ladder um, just in case I fall or anything. And this is just to show you how it continues towards the backyard. So it's a continuous pathway. I hope that you enjoy my curve appeal and front porch makeover. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.